dear students the next organelle which we are going to discuss is lysosomes lysosome is one of the organelle of the endomembrane system hope you remember about the endomembrane system which is also called as a ge oral system golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum and the lysosomes they are the things together form into the endomembrane system here lysosome is a component of endomembrane system it found to possess digestive enzymes that are capable of degrading all of the different kinds of major biological macromolecules including lipids carbohydrate nucleic acids and proteins the hydrolytic enzymes degrade extracellular material brought into the cell by endocytosis process and it digests the intracellular structures also and macromolecule that are damaged or no longer needed for the cell the word lyso is derived from a greek word meaning lysis or destruction and soma meaning the container that is the one in which it is contained they are also called as suicidal bats since they are involved in role of autolysis lysosomes are first discovered by christian de dua he defined lysosome is a membranous sac of hydrolytic enzymes that are called as acid hydrolysis that an animal cell uses to digest all kinds of macromolecule that have been present you look at this diagram you can able to understand how a lysosome is been arranged there this is the structure of the lysosome which found to have acid hydrolysis why this condition is more acidic is due to the presence of an atpase pump which pumps the protons inside the lysosome all these enzymes need to be maintained there in a acidic ph especially nucleases proteases glycosidases lipases phosphatases sulfatases and phospholipases these are all the various enzymes that are involved there in the digestion of various molecules that have been passed on there into the system so for this uh, they need to be maintained at an acidic condition whereas if you look at the outside environment of lysosomes it is having a normal cell ph of a 7.2 size of the lysosome varies from 0.1 to 1.2 micrometer they are spherical and bounded by a single layer membrane there are a few organelles only they found to have a single layer membrane one is a lysosome and another one is a microbodies they are all made up of single layer membrane lysosomes are present in animal cell while plant cells are having a similar functional organelle that is called as a vacuole they digest excess of worn out organelles food particles engulfed viruses or bacteria they are all digested with the help of lysosome next points are related with where the lysosomes are occurring next is related with where are all the locations in which you can able to come across the lysosomes they mostly occur in animal cells and few in plant cells and the plant equivalent lysosome structures are called vacuole which we have already seen they are absent in bacteria and matured rbc that is erythrocytes leukocytes especially granulocytes are rich in lysosome structures as they are involved in capturing certain bacteria and other extracellular organisms that are entering inside so they are all digested with the help of lysosome their presence there in the granulocytes could be visualized with the help of a light microscope they are also present there in more amount in epithelial cells of absorptive nature secretory and excretory organs especially in the intestine liver and kidney next we will look at into the structure of the lysosomes lysosomes are round vacuolar in structure and they are remained filled with dense material and bounded by a single unit membrane they are 0.2 to 0.5 micrometer in size the shape and size usually vary from cell to cell and from time to time that is technically called as a polymorphic in nature identification of lysosome could be possible by looking after the following structures an organelle that is bounded by a limiting membrane is first characteristic it should contain two or more acid hydrolases as we have listed there a list of acid hydrolases these two things if you are able to trace down on a cell structure then that could be of a lysosome 
Lysosomal membrane are slightly thicker than that of the mitochondrial membranes. It contains a unique carbohydrate in their membrane which is called as a sialic acid. Most of the lysosomal membrane proteins are highly glycosylated that is carbohydrate added proteins which may help protect them from the lysosomal proteases in their lumen. That is lysosomal membrane proteins may not be digested with the help of their own enzymes. In order to protect them from their own enzymes they found to have their proteins glycosylated. Okay, so that is a function of glycosylation of membrane associated lysosomal proteins. Lysosomal membrane has another unique property of fusing with the other membranes of the cell. This is again an important property that helps that during the phagocytosis process and even in the auto digestion of some worn out organelles of chloroplasts or mitochondria. Morphology changes as it will be changed based on the types of cells in which it is formed and at the different time intervals in which the cell is maturing. So based on that, the lysosomes can be divided into primary lysosome, secondary lysosomes and residual bodies. So these are the three different kinds of lysosomes that could be formed there in the cells. First, we look at the points related to primary lysosomes. They are not functioning actively in the cell. So, they may not contain or maintain an acidic internal pH. It's a just a formed cell can be regarded as a primary form. When a primary lysosome fuses there with a food vesicle or with another worn out organelle, its pH falls. That is, the pH will become more acidic as a result arsenal a broad higher kinds of hydrolytic enzymes will get activated those list of enzymes are referred as acid hydrolysis and the lysosome will be changed into a secondary lysosome then what is a residual body when the digestion is progressing finally when the digestion ceases certain indigestible materials will be remain there in the lysosome and such a lysosome is technically referred as residual body. Now we look at some points related to the lysosomal enzymes. They are commonly synthesized in the cytosol and endoplasmic reticulum. They may be originating also from the transphase of the Golgi apparatus where they will be containing a mano 6 phosphate tag that targets a particular enzyme to move to lysosomes. The next points are related with what are all the problems that may be occurring due to the malfunctioning of the lysosomal enzymes. An excessive leakage of large number of lysosomes can lead to improper lysosomal targeting causing certain inclusion cell diseases. One example is a mucolipidopsis. Whereas enzymes do not properly reach the lysosome resulting in accumulation of waste materials within these organelles. Sometimes improper functioning of the enzyme inside the lysosome may also occur. That leads to a disease called as a Tay-Sachs disease, which prevent the formation of certain essential enzymes that are involved in the breakdown of certain gangliosine lipids. This is a diagram showing the function there of the lysosome. The lysosomes are involved in two different functions. One is the autophagosomy and another one is heterophagosomy. Autophagosomy is concerned with digestion of their old or damaged worn out organelle. Say for example, this is a mitochondria, old mitochondria that have been attacked there by the lysosome and it is completely digested and the breakdown products are again sent into the cell or cell absorbs the breakdown products. Whereas the, whereas the other one is a heterophagocytosis. Here, some phagocytosis process by which a bacterial cell or an extracellular molecule is taken inside and it will be present there inside the food vesicle. This food vesicle in turn fuses there with lysosome. As a result, lysosome digests the whole contents. The digested thing will be again absorbed there in the cell. 
So these two are the important processes that have been mediated there and by the lysosomes. So these are the things that have been explained here.